Hello, myself Kavita RS, Assistant Professor from Department of Zoology, Terration College, Mysore. Here I am going to give a lecture on the topic Ultrastructure and Function of Nucleolus. The nucleolus is a small intranucleolar dense globular organized body. It is usually disappears by late prophase and reforms during the telophase of the cell cycle. In the year 1874, the nucleolus was first recognized by Fontana. The nucleolus is a membraneless, spherical, dense, colloidal body. It is associated at a specific region called nucleolar organizer region, which represents secondary construction of the nucleolar organizing chromosome. The main function of the nucleolus it is a site for the synthesizes and biogenesis of ribosomal nucleic acid. Coming to the occurrence of the nucleolus, most cells contain a nucleoli. However, the cells of bacteria and yeast does not contain the nucleolus. The number of the nucleolus varies from uh, one organism to the another organisms, that, but generally it is one to four nucleoli within a single nucleus. But in case of oocytes of Xenopus contains up to 1600 nucleoli. The number of nucleoli is depends on the species and also which depends on the number of the chromosome. Coming to the size of the nucleolus, the size which depends on the synthetic activity of the cell. If it is smaller size, there is no synthetic activity. Example, in case of sperm cells, blastomeres, muscle cells, etc. But the large size nucleoli is present in case of oocytes, neurons and secretory cells. Because those cells are involved in the synthesis of the some substances and the position of the nucleolus is eccentric in position. Coming to the ultrastructure of nucleolus. Nucleolus is not bounded by a limiting membrane but instead of limiting membrane there is a presence of calcium ion. The main function of the calcium ions is to maintain its intact organization. The structurally, there are four important components in nucleolus. The first one is amorphous matrix, granular component, fibrillar portion, and chromatin region. The first one is amorphous matrix, is also known as sparse amorpha. It is a homogeneous ground substance of the nucleolus, which composed of proteins and some enzymes which is required for the RNA synthesizes that is the RNA splicing which needs the enzymes that is spliceosome those are present within the amorphous matrix along with that there is uh, another two structural components that is fibrils and granules which are immersed in amorphous matrix that is granular area which is also known as sparse granulosa it consists of granules of which lies scattered in the amorphous matrix. The granules contains proteins and RNA in the ratio of 2 is to 1. Those are the precursors for the synthesizers of ribosome. Fibrillar portions is also known as sparse fibrillosa. In the center of the nucleoli, there is a region of much denser fibrous network surrounded by granular area. It composed of large number of small fibrils and which are long, very much elongated in structure. These fibrils contain both proteins and RNA and are precursors for granules. The last part that is chromatin region. There are two different types of chromatins. It is perinucleolar chromatin and intranucleolar chromatin. The perinuclear chromatins which forms the shell, that is which surrounds the amorphous matrix and it can form a shell like structure and intranucleolar chromatin which is uh, forms the tubular projections into the nucleolus. 
coming to the function of nucleolus the main function of the nucleolus which is involved in the ribosome biogenesis the nucleolus is one of the most active sites of rna synthesizes and the source of ribosomal rna here it is there is a presence of the fibrillar center that is coded for particular rnas that is 45s rna and this 45s rna which can undergo spliceosome and which can gives rise to the three different types of rrna that is 28s rrna 5.8s rrna and 18s rrna these are involved in the formation of the ribosomal subunits and this granules are the precursors of the ribosomes and it stores the nucleoproteins which is required for the splicing and it is essential for the spindle formation during nucleolar division thank you